Mesa Floor version 12, we added elevation views into the program. On the left side of your screen, you can see that there's an elevation button. If you click on that button there, your mouse will turn into a different shape here, and you can click on any project grid throughout the structure. So first thing, let me just click on one here, a simple one with a wall. You'll see that I'm seeing project grid 10, and I'm showing a wall panel. That's this one right here. I can also click on a more complex one. Let's see, let's click on the structure here. We see that I'm now clicking on a elevation view right through the structure. And I can see here that it shows me the lateral elements that are in red, the gravity elements which are in blue, and then the gray ones are the RISA 3D members that are coming in just to, for reference. So they're not being designed here in RISA floor, but we have them so we can understand where they are being placed. Uh, you'll see here I have a solution already present. So in this model here, I can see that I'm getting the shapes of the members designed for me. I'm seeing the, any studs or any camber that I have on these members as well. So that's all listed right here on the model. I can also do something like, let's click on a wall panel like this one here. If for some reason you're looking at this wall panel and it's from project grid 10 to 1, but you'd rather see it from the other side of that wall, we have a button at the top of the screen that says flip elevation view. If you click on that, it will toggle and flip that from one side to the other. So now we're seeing it from 1 to 10, and we're looking at it from the other vantage point. The other thing you can do to this is we can add any of these elements right into our report. So if we have a elevation here that we want to show in a report, we can kind of look at it in a frame here that we zoom in and a little, it looks really nice and how this is how we want to present it. We can then click on this camera button at the top. That means that we will be saving this image with this file. So I'm going to just go ahead and save this image right to uh, my computer and it sits right next to the name of the file and I'm going to say save. Then I can go and close that and I go to build a report and as I open this report builder I can see that I can see all of my report options in the available report sections. We see that that's that model view right here that we just took a screenshot of. I can add that right into there. So you can add any of these different spreadsheets or views if you had created different views into this model and to see this different reporting. Uh, what I do suggest is that you maybe save a report that might be useful. So I'll just look at one here. I just have a couple different options showing. And we're going to create a PDF so we have something to look Look it on the screen. It's creating that and you can then see I have an elevation view in my report and then I can see the information of all the rest of my report. So the elevation view is available for your project grids throughout your structure.